In front of me here we have one of our newer varieties that we started growing a couple years ago. Uh, some of them even look like a giant penguin. We call them either a tall body or a base gourd. Uh, again, the name, they work very good for the very popular thunder gourds that people have been uh, making recently. And here a little bit later in our segment we'll show you what the thunder gourds sound like. Uh, but for our purposes here, this is just a very, very nice symmetrical, very thick shell gourd that uh, I'd say about 60-70% have a nice flat bottom where they'd stand on their own. And uh, they have very nice uh, symmetrical features and work great for a variety of projects. Again, wood burning, carving, you can do all of those. The other variety that I have behind me are the extra long handle dipper gourds. Uh, these work great for small, ornamental, not necessarily useful birdhouses, uh, but they can be painted quite nicely. Um, they work great in floral arrangements, and we've had a number of people start linking these together and start making a chain and do all kinds of different ornamental uh, purposes with that. So they're a fun variety. Every single one is unique. Uh, we don't grow any straight ones here on the farm. We let them grow on the ground, and they do pretty much whatever they want to in all pretzel shapes.